Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. In this video, I will introduce you our trigger order feature available on our trading platform. Trigger orders are designed to be activated contingent upon another order being filled or executed. Let me show you an example. First we start with an initial or primary order. For my initial order, I will send a limit order to buy 200 shares of Cisco at a price of 1785. Here we see the pending buy order in our open orders window. Now that my primary order has been sent, I now have the option of sending a trigger order. Again the trigger order is an order that will be activated once my primary order starts to execute. To set up my trigger order, I hit the trigger button on the bottom here. This will prompt my trigger setup window. Since my primary order is in order to buy Cisco, I will set up my trigger order for a sell order. My symbol is CSCO. The share field gives me a wide range of options. I can manually set up my share amount or use the drop down menu for different options. POS stands for position. So if I receive a partial fill of my order for 50 shares long, my trigger order will be working to sell 50 shares. As my buy order executes more shares, the trigger order automatically adjusts to increase my order to my position size. POS times 2 will allow me to reverse my long position to a short position, or vice versa if I started with a short position. You may also set a position plus or minus a share amount. For this example, I will set it at position. I will set my price for $18 in hopes to sell my position at a profit. Once my parameters are set, I hit the send order button. That trigger order is now sent. This TN here in the open orders window indicates there's a trigger order attached to the primary order. Now let's go over again what we just did. I have a buy order pending in the market. Once that order starts to fill, my trigger order will be activated and I will have an order in the market working to sell my position in Cisco at a price of $18. This trigger order feature is a great way to help automate your trading strategies. Editing Trigger Orders To edit your trigger order, you would simply do a right click on the open order and select Edit Trigger Order. The trigger setup window will appear, allowing you to make your modifications. Here's another cool feature with DAS. Instead of setting up a limit order to sell, you can replace it with the DAS range order, enabling you to send both a stop and a target price at the same time. To do this, I'll select stop as my route, range as my stop type, then I'll enter a low price of 1770 and a high price of $18. Now that my parameters are set, I'll hit modify order and I now have changed my trigger order from a one dimensional limit order to a range stop with both a stop and a target price. Combining the trigger with the range order is a very powerful feature enabling you to automate your entire trade plan from start to finish. Thank you for joining us on our Dash Trader Tips video. We hope you enjoy these features and will find them both useful and profitable. Feel free to join us on our other videos as we go over many other key features offered in the Dash Trader. Once again, thank you for joining us.